please kindly click on the red subscribe button below this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks God bless you as you do this. It, was, it went on and on. It, it was a big round of applause for my friend Tosi Abiola. She, she did well. Oh she stood by me through it all. Through it all. And at times I just called and said, Ah, Sharon, 5,000 of a local account. I need at least of you. Tosi, 50 cover local. She would say, Okay, 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 let me borrow you. She would send it, you know. And then later, you know, we'll sort it out. So, I mean, she's there for me. She's, she's, she's there for me. She's a friend. I, I know I didn't ask a lot of people, you know, but, you know, she, she's been there for me. Yeah, she's not much. Come on, pal. Nollywood actress Iyabo Ooho who recently launched her Abula spot in Lucky has revealed to her fans how she was able to raise the 200 million Naira capital for the project. Speculations had been flying that Iyabo borrowed money to start the franchise. She disclosed that she had to sell some of her land properties and even her gold jewel rise just for her dream to come true. She said, I did not collect a loan to open my business. I saved. I had been planning to open this place for a very long time, so I had been saving. When I wanted to get my new office building, I sold some of my property. I sold almost all my gold if not everything. During that time, I sold one batch and when I needed more money, I sold the rest. I told myself to forget about gold for now because I know that I can make the money back later. With the support of good people as well. I was able to get my office building. The first lady of Quara State who came to inaugurate the building supported me. Some of my godparents also supported me because I told them that I wanted to sell Amala. Talking about the time the franchise would cost her in the movie world Iyabo boasted that she had it all figured out I can never quit my career for anything. I am a very organized person. When you are organized, you plan ahead. My life is planned and that has helped me a lot Oho who jokingly said that people now refer to her as Aya Alamala, Amala seller, said that she is not ashamed to sell food some people perceive to be local I am a local chic. I made a name for myself by acting in my local dialect which is the Yoruba language and in our culture, Amala is the in thing. I am proud to be selling Amala because that is my culture. A Chinese man cannot be ashamed of owning a Chinese restaurant. What I did was that I brought something perceived to be local to the island and I made it look posh. When something is local, it does not mean that it is dirty. People really long to eat Amala and I am not ashamed to be selling it. I opened the Abula spot because I noticed that on the island, they do not really have anywhere you could go to get the local dish unlike the way we do on the mainland. Thank you so much for watching our videos. And importantly, you need to subscribe because we drop videos almost every day. Any events going on in Nigeria, Gua TV is always the first to get there. So you just need to subscribe unless you'll be missing out. And how to subscribe? There's a circle here written Gua TV. Click on it, you see a subscribe button. Click on the subscribe button. That's all. And if, if any event just take place or you hear something, just go on YouTube, search for Gua TV. You see there. And if you have a big show coming up, any event, you can call us.